Why did they take res completely out of the game? That is a very intelligent suggestion. If only someone who was working for this game thought of that. Then maybe killing someone but in a game like this is supposed to be like killing someone, you know? Or at least make the mercy res proactive instead of reactive which makes it so much more fun and so much more easy to play against and so much more enjoyable to play Dude, what the fuck? like zillion old <laughs> why did i let my comp decay because this this season's fucking trash fucking garbage season with no mmr oh, resets really, so really at that point like it was so hard for me to care it's so hard for me to care like i don't care if i end in fucking masters or diamond Literally, I don't give a single fuck about this game's rank matchmaking system anymore because it's obviously like flawed and the, it just has no meaning anymore. Fuck me. If I end up in gold, I have, I don't care. I don't care. I was, I was top 10 on my Torb only fucking account with over a hundred games played. I just didn't have the SMS thing, but I have a whole, over 100 games played with top 10 SR. You know how fucking stupid that is? At that point, I just realized how stupid this game is. I don't know, I just couldn't care anymore. I couldn't take the game seriously anymore after I did that. That should not be possible. Like, I'm a good Torb, yes, but I'm not like top 10 carry every game Torb. It's just like stupid. I even fucking like, I was just trolling. Just like playing, the, like, playing him as Reaper. Why do I keep playing it? Because I'm addicted, dude. Come on. I'm addicted. And the fact that I get top 10 playing Torb from pure like luck of not getting throwers on my team because I was the thrower is so depressing. And like, wh how can I keep my motivation up after that? How can I be addicted so much? There's a lot better options nowadays. Like what? Counter-Strike? I've already played Counter-Strike for over like 10,000 total hours in my life. At least Counter-Strike go. And then I have so much like so many hours in 1.6 and stuff that I want to go back to Counter-Strike. What other shooters can I play then? That's like, how's COD? I actually found COD fun. If COD didn't have kill streaks and shit, I would play COD, I think. I would try to play COD. I, if the stream would enjoy playing COD, I would give that game a shot. So on tacos? No, I'm okay. In enemy? Rainbow Six? Rainbow Six is too campy and slow for me. It's too slow and it's too like I don't know. It's not like high skill cap enough for me in terms of like mechanical skill and stuff. PUBG, I just want a game where I can get over 60 FPS consistently. So you know, high skill cap game in your opinion? Probably like Counter Strike or Quake. I would change over if I could. Just delete a bunch of characters and rework a bunch of characters. Uh, enable server region picking. Implementing a, re a replay system. Uh, with the uh, hard MMR resets or soft MMR resets, depending on what works the best. Um, making sure that high skill and like high SR means high skill. Um, a soft roll queue that like maybe it wouldn't change, but actually experimenting with things like that. You know, reworking a lot of characters to increase skill cap, to you know, increase like mechanical skill requirements. Map system. I want to be able to pick. I want to be able to pick what maps and game modes I can queue for. That'd be sick. I would say to people with Spiny Go Pro, grind, grind, grind. Over to the worst age of its life, but it's still the best FPS right now. I think this show, I think Quake is better. I think Counter-Strike is better, but Overwatch in its prime was fucking good. It's fucking good. Might as well delete Lunar Colony. Well, that's like why like map drafting isn't a thing in competitive Overwatch anymore because then people would never play 2CP ever. And people would never like, I don't know, you know? I would never ever play 2CP if I could pick what characters I would play. As I was saying, you'll never see a champion be played in League of Legends and a million people are okay with that. That is not the same. Or do you mean banning, like a ban system? Banning picking characters? Like when I streamed with COD, I got a couple hundred, like I got like 800 viewers peak. I think that's pretty good for variety for me. I'd consider playing some like, oh God. I'd consider playing like both, you know? Why is Aspen flexing? Why do neither teams have mercies? Mercy's bad. There's no way. I don't believe that Mercy is bad. Anna's meta again. I guarantee you, if I would play Mercy, it would be better for the team than Anna. Unless I like Genji on the team. But like res in rank just seems like so much better. Oh yeah, Mercy you heal. I guess the people just play dive now. Mercy's trash. But res is still so good. Why don't you just play Mercy Anna then? As long as you're not playing against a Genji for like defensive or a Kasaria for grab. Why wouldn't you just play that instead of like the secondary support. Opinion of stacking? 
Stacking is the best way to play this game. This game is a team-based game, and the more people you invite to your group when you queue for rank, the lower chance you get a Thor or a one trick on your team that you have to fucking deal with. It doesn't even care about the competitive environment of this game, or the competitive integrity, the competitive aspects in any capacity. However, if you group, you don't have to deal with that shit, and the game actually becomes competitive. This whole community thinking that one or solo queuing is the most competitive way to climb and shit is fucking dumb. And it's like, I'm, I'm just chasing for that high, you know? <laughs> Every game I queue up, I'm just chasing for that high. I say some solo queue because no no one plays this game anymore. <laughs> no one plays this game anymore, dude. I've look at it like there's not that many people online. And then I'm probably not in range. Like, oh, let's see if I can queue with Ace of Spades. Oh wow, he's out of range for me. Because <laughs> I'm fucking masters, dude. If you no longer play Mercy, Genji must be so fucking good. And Tracer too. Doofus Genji Sombra. Oh yeah, the fucking hide and seek cancer shit and the fucking Doomfist forehead fucking looking ass fucking Barely, uh, I imagine Doomfist players to be Hunter players too, and wow, or Frost DKs. The easiest fucking specs, and super annoying. How did she miss the stun? We do stuff there. Oh no! Brig clicked E. She clicked this button, and she's healed and overhealed. One button. That's what she did. G G4 or 3 and G7 or 3 are basically the same. No massive difference. No noticeable massive difference at least. I'm not gonna stop playing Overwatch. I don't think I ever will. I think I'll take a break from Overwatch. Or I'll start doing like, you know, I'll stream for a couple of hours every day. Like a couple of Overwatch hours and then I'll go to another game. Depending on what game that is. Thomas Resident Sleeper. So fucking stupid. This change that it went through, I can't believe. I can't fucking believe that this was like saw live ever. After all the feedback, we're like, no, please don't do this. This is stupid. This is so stupid. Please don't do this. Please, please, please don't do this. And then guess what? They did it. No, you can enjoy playing the new Sombra. That's fine. Playing against her is fucking dumb though. And like, especially in a competitive environment. If she was a quick play only character, I wouldn't care. Or like, can't play her above a certain SR. Your next gold gun be Hansel Genji Soldier. Genji doesn't have a gun. Hansel doesn't have a gun. So the only gold gun you can get is Soldier, right? Because they have a bow, they have daggers, they have shurikens. He has a dagger? When Genji melees, he uses a dagger. He has a sword, a dagger, and shurikens. Well, I don't know if this is a dagger. No, this isn't. That's not the one he melees with, is it? His is shorter. This is a katana. This is a uchigatana, I think it's called. <laughs> And then when you melee, he has something else. He has a shorter one. He melees with the one above his ass? No way. No way. The one above his ass is way bigger. The smaller sword? Yeah, they, they had a use. There's no way that's it. That's so short. See how short that is? I would hit the wall here if that was a sword. It's so big. Maybe that is the thing he melees with. It just looks way smaller in hand. Good soldier? No, why? Soldier's bad. Don't play soldier. I wish soldier was good. Oh, what the fuck? I got booped. By this guy. Where'd he go? Oh, right there. I clicked. Oh, was I trapped or something? Oh, I was. Yeah, I see the big red letters that say trap. Oh, God. This Ryan plays like 10 FPS. You see this? See how laggy it is? Jesus. Because every ability the Doom Assassin has kit has force movement in it, and it's all about one shots. Or killed under or killing people under CC without counterplay. And then do one more Carpe who wins. Depends on the character, but probably Carpe. He plays this game a lot more than I do. We keep losing fights to momentum that they get from resing dead teammates. Like that. Exactly like that. It's actually insane. Mercy's still so good in rank, just because she's fucking forehead. They know who to kill. They know who to kill to win. Why do I only have two avoid slots still? Come on, man. Give me some more. The outsmart, the outplay, the big brain recall, using my blinks to my advantage when I recall. No! Yeah, Boink's my teammate. He was my roommate when I was in LA too. I love Boink. He he made my dog believe his name is dumbass. <laughs> Cause he did all, all he called my puppy was dumbass. I'm greedy, I'm- oh, he got healed, never mind. I'm gonna fall. Don't worry, Sombra can't be invisible anywhere on the map. I'm just gonna make sure she's nowhere where I'm shooting, you know? Just, you gotta make sure. You know, my accuracy is just going down. It's going down. But you know, I literally need to do this because that's the, the direction they wanted to take this game, you know? Excited to move with Poke? You mean Poke's moving in with me? 
But I am very excited, yes. Folks coming here to text you. Alright, chat. Do I avoid Cauliflower, Marissa, or Jack LZ? Which one? Pick. Why would I avoid Aspen? Aspen's flexing. Me, Sire, on the run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. So, I saw that clip, Chris. Fucking. His keys got so much airtime. Got burned out of my wire just playing out stream. Uh, there's nothing for me to do in WoW anymore. I'm fully geared. I only need like three or more drops that I can't get until next week. I can keep grinding for her lucky mythic forge for like maybe like two or three eye level increase. I have all the trinkets I really need except for fathoms, which is the only way to get it is through buying it from the auction house or from a trader. I need like the freehold ring, I need a dagger, and then I basically have everything I need until I raid on um, both my characters, so. I have nothing to do. I don't want to ref grind because that's just stupid. The fact that they fucking ref walked or ref gated two dungeons is so fucking stupid. I hate that. It's so fucking stupid.